meteorologist Tyler Hamilton here in the Weather Network's Forecast Center. We're tracking the development of La Nina. What does that mean? Well, we're already seeing negative sea surface temperature anomalies develop in the equatorial region west of South America. But can that have an impact on weather this fall and winter for the Pacific Northwest, including parts of southern British Columbia? Well, yes, look at this. During La Nina, we like to get a high pressure system that develops in the northern Pacific that often amplifies the jet stream into parts of Alaska, and they'll deal with above seasonal temperatures. The polar jet often dives south. We often get a nice trough developing in parts of western Canada, including southern British Columbia. Low pressure systems like to form on this temperature gradient, and often they're called inside sliders, and they'll slide down the coast producing mixed precipitation or sometimes straight snow to sea level. When this cold, dry air mass meets up with the Pacific jet, we often get above normal amounts of snowfall across parts of British Columbia.